Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared a very easy problem for you. So today's video is going to be short. A woman heterozygous for color blindness marries a color blind man. What would be the ratios of carrier daughters, color blind daughters, normal sons and color blind sons in F1 generation? Color blindness is X link, uh, X chromosome link uh, recessive genetic problem. So genotype of the female is XX, two X chromosomes, and genotype of the male XY. So this is female and this is male. So inheritance of um, recessive genetic disorders on uh, X chromosome has its own peculiarities because not uh, all the sexes would be affected equally, especially if it is a uh, recessive uh, genetic disorder. So let me use green color to designate normal chromosome and red color to designate defective chromosome. We were told that a male has a defective X chromosome, has color blindness and his only um, X chromosome is defective. Of course, not the whole chromosome defective, but only one gene on this chromosome. But I would use the color for the whole chromosome to designate that this chromosome carries defective allele. And female is heterozygous. That means that one X chromosome is normal, another X chromosome is defective. And when we build a simple Punnett square, we can predict outcome of such a cross in their progeny. So here we have normal X chromosome and defective X chromosome, normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And here we have two defective X chromosomes, defective X chromosome here and normal Y chromosome here. So this is going to be female side, this is male side. So as you see, 50% of the progeny going to be females and 50% of the progeny going to be males. And according to the Punnett square, 50% um, of the females would be carriers but would be phenotypically normal. 50% of the females uh, would be uh, would show affected phenotype or uh, would be color blind. 50% of the males would have normal vision, and 50% of the males would be affected with this genetic disorder. So this gives us a ratio that is one quarter to one quarter to one quarter to one quarter or we also can say 25% 25% 25% and 25% or some people may say 0 0.25 so it depends on the which scale we do all the calculations but as we see ratios would be 1 to 1 and to 1 and as you see the correct answer is answer C. This is recessive uh, genetic disorder. So those uh, female, this female has one defective X chromosome. She wouldn't express this genetic disorder. She wouldn't be affected because she has one normal allele on another chromosome that balance this recessive allele. But males are hemizygous, meaning uh, males has only one X chromosome, so uh, in this example, as you see, male has only one defective X chromosome, so he doesn't have another X chromosome to balance this uh, recessive genetic disorder. So in males, recessive genetic disorder, when present in only one copy, would show uh, affected phenotype. 
And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.